Right, hello. How are we all doing today? Just gonna turn the music down a little bit. Let me know how the audio is. Hello everyone. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've streamed. Um yeah, let me know how the audio is if you want me to turn the music down, if it's perfectly balanced with my uh my voice, obviously, my beautiful, beautiful voice. How is everyone doing today? We have 82 people here. It's nice. It's nice to see everybody back here. Um it's been I think it's been exactly a year since I've actually streamed. So yeah, <laughs> I, I tend to like to stream on my birthday quite often. So um yeah, thanks for all the birthday messages. Thank you. I really appreciate it. We're gonna we're gonna wait around for a bit, see if um we can hit hit a hundred people. We've just hit a hundred likes, so if anybody hasn't liked the stream yet, go ahead and like it. Um share it around with your friends as well, why not? Um yeah, how is everyone? How are we all doing today? Now According to my software, I have some dropped frames. Now, that's why we're not going to do any kind of like visual stuff in today's stream. Um, because I'm in a hotel. <laughs> I'm currently live streaming in a hotel. I've never done this before. The Wi-Fi is atrocious. So that's why we're not like streaming any visual stuff. That's why maybe when you see the chat box move, uh, it looks very laggy or very jumpy. So that's why we're going to go ahead and only have an image on screen so i do apologize for anybody who wanted to see some actual gameplay or something i do apologize about that um but i i'm sure you guys are aware hotel wi-fi is not the one so <laughs> so yeah um but i just thought we could do like a little podcast kind of like live stream here discussing obviously jurassic 7 jurassic world um chaos theory uh jurassic park survival there's fireworks going off outside i don't really want to tell you guys where i am but let's just say it's a special day today for the country where I'm at. And uh, I believe that they're doing fireworks to celebrate. Oh, I want to go see them as well. What am I doing? See, you guys are distracting me. <laughs> How is everyone doing today? Carl Hall, hello. The Elegant Trivert. What a name. That's a brilliant name. Hello, how you doing? Brody, hello. Roman, hello. Stegolution. What's with all of these good names today? Hello. Toby, hello. Alex, Eric. Uh, Paula, Jurassic Shadow, my man, how you doing, man? Jacob Mulligan, Mog Mogulin, Mogulin, that's how you say it. Bailey, Tyrannozilla, hello. How is everyone doing today? Um, hope you're all doing well. Um, yeah, I've already got a headache. It's actually getting very hot. It's it's almost 30 degrees right now. So let me go turn the aircon on real quick. Hold on. Ooh. Thing is, I'll turn the aircon on. I'll turn the aircon on and then it will just become like really, really cold all of a sudden. Actually, to be honest, I do have it set on 20 degrees, so probably should put it on 25 or something. But yeah, um, if you guys can guess where I am, just put down like a random country, random city, and um, I'll, uh, I'll just say if somebody's got it in chat or not. I don't want to say just yet because I'm going through something very major right now. Um, and yeah, I just need to, I'm doing, dealing with a lot in my personal life um, with moving all of this stuff. And yeah, so there's a lot going on. You'll probably hear about it in a couple months or something, but don't worry, we're we're trying to get things sorted. How old are you? I'm, I turned 23 today. I turned 23. Oh, oh, I turned 23 today. Oh, I'm doing good, Jurassic Shadow. I'm doing good. So, come home from work five minutes ago. What does everyone do for work? I never really asked that question. <laughs> right, um, California. No, <laughs> I'll say right now, not California. The shower, my, my shower is just like dripping water now. That kind of scared me a little bit. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> Got some good guesses going on here. I mean, I, I, I've, I've given, given a little bit of a, uh, of a hint of where I am. Not too much of a hint. I put you like 27? No, no, I'm just turning 23 now. Do you think you can change my mind about Jurassic 7 being a reboot? Well, it depends what you think a reboot is. Um, a reboot, in my opinion, means like a complete restart. Like you're using the same name, but you're starting a new universe. So that's kind of what the recent Transformers movie did. Um, is that dog barking? 
is a dog park. I thought they were doing songs. Um, so the recent Transformers, um, Rise of the Beasts, that's a reboot, technically. And so is Bumblebee as well. Because um, they take place in their own brand new universe and they don't take place within the Bayverse of the Transformers movies. So that's a reboot of the franchise. They're restarting something, they're doing something new, but with the same franchise name, if that makes sense. So, um, yeah, it's kind of like that. And to have Jurassic 7 be a reboot, personally, I don't think so. I don't, I don't see it happening, no. I actually more see the fact that it's going to be not not a reboot just like a continuation but in a new era of jurassic if that makes sense but not in it's hard to explain it's really hard to explain uh yeah it's 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 really hard to explain but yeah it, i i don't think it'll be a reboot i think it'll be a continuation of some movie in the franchise i don't think it'll be directly after dominion but i don't want to say it'll be before dominion it's going to be a continuation it'll take place within the same jurassic universe and if it doesn't then I'm not going to lie, that kind of lowers my interest a lot. I'll be deadly honest with you. Like, why would you build this massive, beautiful universe and then be like, yeah, none of that really matters. We're just going to start something new. You know, to me, that just makes no sense. So that's why I would say that it's not a reboot. Um, but you guys are welcome to think whatever you want. <laughs> but that's how I would change your opinion or change your mind about it. I just don't think it's going to be a reboot because it would be a waste to just throw away the universe that they built like they don't just have movies anymore they have series they have chaos theory coming out which also takes place in the same universe they have all of these um future uh no not future sorry <laughs> they have all of these um biomarketing websites that are out and even one that's apparently coming out for chaos theory if you guys haven't actually checked out today's video i highly recommend checking it out but yeah i mean that's a reboot just doesn't make any sense to me none at all what dinosaurs are in Jurassic 7? Uh, right now, Tyrannosaurus and Triceratops. Uh, I, I I think maybe Dilophosaurus. I've heard whispers about that, but it literally could be anything. It depends on where they're going to take it. So, <laughs> I mean, we could literally have the return of Quetzalcoatlus, Pyroraptor, or we could just... Have I got an advert on my... This is not a... No, it said advert free. Okay, hold on. Sorry for hearing the advert there. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's going to it's gonna include various dinosaurs from the first movie to the last movie, or even some brand new species as well. We just have to wait and see. What's Jurassic 7 going to be called? Jurassic World Extinction or Jurassic 7? I would love for it to be called Jurassic 7 and then have like a subtitle to the, to the title. Um, but that's not going to happen. Um... I'm not too sure if it's going to be a Jurassic World movie. I think they're still playing around with the title, but they do have something locked in. Um, whether that's one title locked in or five titles locked in, that's something I, I don't know. <laughs> but they do have something locked in. Do you think they should make movies anymore? What, like Jurassic movies or movies in general? I've always a silly, a silly question. <laughs> do you think Titanobo or Mammoth will be there? You know, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be surprised that we do get a species like Terra Bird. You know, some some species closer to extinct mammals. I'd, I'd expect that to be honest. Um, but I, I don't think they'll focus too much on it. No. Happy birthday! Thank you, Untamable King. I appreciate that. Thanks for the birthday messages, by the way, guys. Are we continuing with hybrids? I don't think so. I don't think in Jurassic Seven we are. Um, but I wouldn't be against. Um, have been hybrids again in the franchise. I know I said it, people are going to hate me for saying that, but I wouldn't be against it. What kind of logo do you expect for this movie? Whatever logo you make. <laughs> Shadow, you, you got to make it. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll, we'll try to get you to sign a contract. We'll get you in and um, you'll, uh, you'll work on the logos for Universal. How about that? <laughs> if anybody from Universal is watching right now and you do want a logo for the next movie, hit up Jurassic Shadow. Highly recommended. Some people have actually guessed where I am. So, people have guessed the, city, the exact city and the exact country. I see some guesses are still coming in, like France and New Zealand. Yeah, there's loads of loads of guesses flying in, but there are a few people who've got who've got it so far. <laughs> Any thoughts about Scarlett, Joh Scarlett Johansson? That's how you say it. Being the main character for the upcoming film. Um, yeah, I made a video on that. Um, I like it. I think it's a good choice because she's already a proven like not just a proven actress but she's an action 
actress. She's proven herself in that genre. So having her kind of be like Black Widow with dinosaurs, for me, that sounds incredible. Like, honestly, I, I, th I think that's exactly what the franchise needs right now, to have somebody to be able to fill the boots of that action character and be the main character. And I believe that's exactly what um, Scarlett Johansson can bring. Now, some people are saying, oh, we need lesser known characters, yada, 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 or actors, shall I say. I agree, but I don't think to start some new portion of the franchise. I think to start a new portion of the franchise, you're going to have to go big with an actress or an actor as the main lead. And that way, especially after, you know, yeah, Dominion, you know, <laughs> break $1 billion, but you can, you can see there's a gradual decline in the revenue that these movies are making. So you'll need a big name in to bring in big money. You know, big name equals big money. So... In my opinion, um, Scarlett Johansson's a, a great choice, incredible choice, and I think that she will do fantastic. The only thing I am concerned about is that we don't really know too much information about the cast. Even like insider scoops, they don't know anything about whether other characters have been casted for this movie or not. So, I think there's loads of fireworks going on. What time is it? Yeah, I, I do kind of want to go out later. <laughs> I'm not too sure how long I stream for. I do kind of want to go out and um, see the fireworks, but I don't, I don't think the fireworks are going to be anything too crazy. Especially where I am. I'm like quite far out from the city. I can still see the city, but... Do you think at one point the old cast will return to the franchise? I think one or two characters, sure. I'd, I wouldn't mind if they're a cameo or just a cameo, but I, would, I wouldn't be against other people returning. I'm going to pull my chair closer. So I can get comfortable and lean back and read the chat at the same time. This is such a, like a cozy setup. It's, it's literally just my laptop and I never do that. Usually I have a big PC, three computer screens and yeah. Can you guys hear the fireworks in the background by any chance? Thank you, Ashan. Thank you. Tell us the country now. I will not be saying the country right now. It's a nice country. I like it. Would you like Isabella Sermon to return in a lead role? Personally, no. Um, just because I think this is a perfect choice. What's her name? Ev Ever Ever Troll? Ever Troll? What's her name? The one that played grown up um Charlotte Lockwood. Because if if they bring her back to play grown up Maisie Lockwood, that to me that makes a lot of sense. Because she's supposed to be a clone, so. I think that's a perfect opportunity, and that's why I don't think Isabella Sermon should uh, should return. Unless they do something that's a bit more... I don't know. In the years of Dominion, or around the years of Dominion. What dinosaurs do I think should appear? I think we should finally get to see the Metric Amphosaurus. I think it's long overdue. We should see it. Do I think General Ortega is returning for Chaos Theory? This is a scary question. <laughs> it's a very scary question because for me, I think that she she should, ugh, English. Come on, I think that she should not only return for Chaos Theory, but the rest of the franchise. I feel as though she's a very important character to not just Camp Cretaceous, but to Jurassic. She's an incredible actress. She's one of the biggest actresses out there right now. And if you kind of want like a big name who's already been part of your franchise, she's the best choice. But I'm very concerned that they've killed off Brooklyn. Very concerned. We'll find out more. I'll have a video out soonish. I was supposed to make that video actually last weekend, but some unforeseen stuff happened that I'm sure some of you already know, hence why some videos got removed. <laughs> so I'm trying to reword everything that I had planned for this video so uh, it wouldn't be as bad. But yeah, for me, I feel like General Ortega should be one of the very few characters to come from animation into live action. Guys, it's obvious he is in one of the countries on that one piece of land. Yeah, you know, you're, you're not wrong, technically. You're not wrong. I would love, Stegolution, I would love, love small references to stuff like E750. Maybe the Ultimasaurus. Maybe like a, an Easter egg to the Ultimasaurus. Like, how can we, like something like, uh, there's a new crazy scientist and he's like following in the steps of Dr. Wu. And then he says, I want, I want to do something where we can put so many genomes together. We can call it like the Ultimasaurus, you know, something like that. It never, it never comes to light, <laughs> but it's a nice little nod, you know, and it's a, it's like a little bit of fun because that's, you know, it's an expanded, 
uh, movie universe. That's, that's the type of stuff that has to happen. Little, uh, little details like that. Owen or Claire will appear in Chaos Theory. I don't think either of them will. There's a, there's a chance. You know, it, may, it makes sense considering where they are in the world. But I don't think that they will. Will we see Junior in the new movie? Ooh. Very good question. I don't know. I really don't. I, I hope we get an answer. Because I don't know where Junior is. Nobody does. Like He, he kind of just like broke his leg. And then, you know killed Ludlow and then hung out with his family and then that was it <laughs> quite literally that was it don't know anything about him there was a there was a um years ago now this is like what 16 years ago or something the crew of Jurassic Park 3 created a uh, a sculpture of Junior being killed by the Tyrannodons in Jurassic Park 3 now obviously they said it was canon but they they did clarify that they were joking so that's not the case so you know whatever happened to Junior Man, I don't know. I don't know. I need to restart the franchise completely. I completely disagree. Extremely disagree. That's the most. That's probably the most I can disagree with any opinion, to be honest. Restarting the franchise when they when they've literally built a whole whole universe. I explained this about five minutes ago, ten minutes ago. But like, why would you destroy a massively created universe just to try something new? Makes no sense. Unless they they want to do like a spin-off universe like you have with the Godzilla franchise. You have the Toho universe and you have the Monsterverse. You know, I, I would be open to that. I would. Um, but to restart the franchise? No. Restart the franchise would be literally the worst decision that they could make. For revenue-wise, for viewership-wise, interest-wise. Like, honestly, one of the worst decisions that they could make. Hello, Beverly. Thank you, Santi. Thank you, thank you. There's some very interesting opinions going about, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> Building the Ford Explorer. I've seen a few people do that. I don't even know how to build a car, so, you know, fair play. Kian Faulkner. Hello. Would I watch a Jurassic story set in Alaska? I would. I'd watch a Jurassic story. Like, I'm, I did say that, you know, I don't think that they should restart the franchise, but... I would still watch it. <laughs> Hope you had an amazing day filled with lots of cake. Um, I didn't do anything besides work. I'm like, I was gonna say how many thousand of miles away, but yeah, I didn't. I, I didn't get cake. I did have a lot of chicken though, like a lot of chicken. Like I had Jolly Bees. I don't know if you guys had Jolly Bees, but I overdid it. Like it, food is so cheap in this country, it's actually crazy, and I kind of overdid did it. I was feeling a bit sick before I started live streaming, I'll be honest. <laughs> I'm good now, though. I'm good now. I might get some water in a minute, though. Okay, the flags don't pop up on my chat for some reason, but Gold Channel, I assume that's Iceland. I can't see the flag, it just says IL. It could be Iceland? Uh, Ireland? I don't know. It'll be one or the other. Can I turn up my own voice? Sure. I am quite far away from the microphone right now, but let me uh, angle the microphone down. How's that? Is that better now? Do you think in Jurassic World Chaos Theory we'll see Sukumimus? We will see Sukumimus. Do you want to return to the islands in Jurassic 7? I do not. I wouldn't mind approaching an island, but I do not want the return to the islands unless it's like a, a backstory, a flashback, something of the sorts. Nokian, you're the best. When's the next Campertaceous rebuild coming? <laughs> That's a question. <laughs> um, man, I don't know. Uh, it won't be for a while. I need to um, set up some stuff first. But I'm going to say it's not going to be for a while. But it will happen. We do have some of the stuff to play around with. So it will happen. Don't you worry. Do you think Pierce could, be, could appear in Chaos Theory since Bumpy is... A, I don't really know how Bumpy's appearing, I'll be honest with you. But if Bumpy's appearing, why not Pierce? You know? Bring back Jurassic Park down with Jurassic World. Well, unfortunately, Vader, both Jurassic Park and Jurassic World fell. <laughs> both of them. <laughs> I'm going to switch here, actually. 155 likes. Let's see if we can get to 200. 
Okay, chat is going crazy on this. Okay, okay. Do, 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 do. What is one thing you wish was never introduced into the franchise? Ooh, good question. That's actually a very good question, because I know I have an answer for that, but I, I genuinely can't think of it. Um... Hmm. Probably has to be season four. I don't mind season five, but season four of Camp Cretaceous. Like, I feel like everything within the stories and the story themselves within the franchise is good. Like, I think it's really good. The only thing I would remove is season four. Yeah, I'd, I'd say season four. You know, I'm glad it happened. Don't get me wrong. Like, I'm really glad it happened. Just because now the, the future creators of Jurassic know that people do not. <laughs> and I mean, do not like a season four. So they've learned, they've experimented, they learn, and it'll be less likely for something like that to happen. Alden, wow. Coming in with the $1.99 super chat. Thank you so much, my friend. I appreciate that. Wait, I can like it? No way. I can actually like it. What happens if I press this? I don't know what's going on. See, I thought... Can I not... I should have that highlighted. Source. Your, I mean, your super chat should appear on screen, but we are, we are trying to do as much as we can with super chats. I don't even know if it's come through yet. We'll wait and see. It should be popping up on screen, but I don't think it is right now. But yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate it. What did you actually say? Happy birthday, my fellow April. Best people born in April. Come on now. Best people born in April. I uh, hope we'll have a junior spin-off. You know what? Me too. Even if it's like a short movie, I'd appreciate that a lot. Jurassic World Dominion Fallen Kingdom. Dominion. They should at least remake the first or fifth movie because that's probably what people want. Or even a movie more accurate to the book. I'm not opposed to that. There you go, it's come through now. There's the super chat. And it, yeah, it works. And the birthday funds in the top left. <laughs> it actually works. Because I remember last year, people saying, how much did you earn in uh, in, the, in the stream? And I was like, I don't know. People were just like donating left, right, and center. So I thought, this way, if I, if I had like a little counter, then we can, uh, we can work out. And you know what? If we raise enough money tonight, I'll be able to enjoy a nice meal. I'll go out tomorrow night. I, I, I've been here for a week. Yeah, I've been here for a week now, and I actually, I haven't left my hotel properly. I went for a walk, I went for like an hour walk, two hour walk to the beach, but I haven't left my hotel properly because I'm spending a lot of money for what I'm doing, and um, I don't have the luxuries at the moment. <laughs> but if, if we raise enough, we'll go out for a little meal, and I'll say thank you to everyone. We'll go, we'll go out for a little meal, how about that? We'll go to the city. Birthday is exactly one month away from today. So is my best friend's, actually. Best Camp Cretaceous episode. Somewhere in... Actually, I would say episode 9. Episode 9 of season 3? I think that's probably my favourite. Or episode 8, I can't remember. I, I think it's episode 8 I'm thinking of. Or 9. Whichever one that they introduced the prologue of Fallen Kingdom. That's the one. Have an amazing year, which one of the Jurassic is still... What's just happened? What's just happened? Oh! Jacob! Gorbally, is that how I said Gorbally? Coming in with the five pound... It wasn't even a super chat, that's a proper donation as well. Which means that YouTube doesn't take 40% of it. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's incredible. Uh, happy birthday so I've been watching you ever since Camp Cretaceous Season 2 Theories. Ah, oh, thank you Jacob, I appreciate that. We're coming back with uh, Chaos Theory Season 1 theories now, so <laughs> we're on the way. Um, now, the thing is, yeah, that Super Chat goal is a Super Chat goal. It doesn't add to the donations. <laughs> Let me see if I can... Can I... Visual settings. Can I change it? If I go end goal, starting amount... Oh, what was the other... Oh, I can't remember how much I was on. So let's just do £5.50. And we'll do 04 
ten. Twenty twenty four. Can we start to go now? Bear with me. Must be in the near future. Okay. We'll just do eleven then. Done. There you go. We're at six quid. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you so much. I could add, add, add another source actually for a, a donation source. But yeah, we actually have a donation link. I, I was never, I was honestly not expecting that, Jacob. Thank you so much. Like, we never get donations nowadays. The only reason why donations there, because I know some people don't like to use Super Chat because they know that YouTube takes like 30 to 40% of whatever you donate. Whereas through the donation link, I only lose like 1% or 2%. So yeah, I appreciate that so much. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Oh, let's move this. Let's try to get that sorted whilst I read some questions, because after all, you guys are here for me to answer your questions. If there was a frog in Jurassic 7, could it eat soup? Now, why am I answering questions? <laughs> why am I answering these questions? <laughs> uh, what are you most excited about for Chaos Theory? Honestly, the story. Like, it's, it's not what I was expecting it to be whatsoever. So, I'm very excited for that. Like very very excited for that because like you know there's there was a lot to it and I was you know wondering what it would be about but then to find out it was about conspiracies and that the the new blast six are under threat or a great story because for me I like Jurassic because of the stories not because of the dinosaurs I know crazy <laughs> but yeah I mean personally for me I I, I genuinely think that the stories are what's most important and I would be open to a Jurassic story that has no um, dinosaurs in it. Crazy statement. I know, I know. But it's like, for me, Star Wars, I'm like, I'm open to a Star Wars movie or Star Wars, Star Wars series that's good with no lightsabers in it. For me, I see that as the same thing. You know, I'm open to a Jurassic movie with no dinosaurs in it as long as it's good. Do I think frogs can eat soup? How can you eat soup as a liquid? You can drink soup. Wish you a good year, lots of luck. If you could put the hybrids of all the Jurassic installments in a tier list, which hybrids would be on top? Scorpius, Scorpius Rex on top. Uh, Spinoraptor on top. Then Indominus Rex, Indoraptor. Then after that, Spinoceratops, Stegoceratops. Is that all the canonical ones? No, we have Ankylodicus. Ankylodicus. Ooh, okay. Evolution 1 Ankylodicus, I'm not even going to bother with that. Like that. That's the lowest of the low tier. Evolution 2 Ankylodicus is a different question, though. Should Jurassic franchise... Hey, break, quick question. Should Jurassic franchise will do same like across Spider-Verse? Kevin, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> I have no clue what you mean. I hope Acro... Yes, Acrocanthosaurus, that's what I wanted. I want to see the Acrocanthosaurus, for sure. Okay, Jacob, I apologise. I, uh, I, I, I'm, I know how to do it. I just, I can't remember how to do it. <laughs> to get the, uh, the goal, the not the super chat goal, the donation goal. How do I do it, man? I don't know. Tip ticker? Is that how I do it? Add source. How have I added that? Okay, you know what? You get your own little space down here. Yeah, you get your own little space down there. There you go. <laughs> We've got other people from donations from last time. That's crazy. Okay, let's go back on here. Now, don't jump scare me. Any, don't jump scare me with any more donations because I'm I'm tabbed out right now. Well, oh, chat's moving quick. Which of the Jurassic novels is your favorite? <sighs> guys, 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 guys. I have something to admit to you. Let's pause the music. I have never read the Jurassic novels. I haven't. The only Jurassic novel I have read is the novelization of Jurassic World Dominion. And I'm currently like in the first few pages of Evolution of Claire. I brought it with me actually. I'm looking at it right now in my suitcase. I know. I haven't I haven't read the original novels. Don't hate me. Don't hate me, please. <laughs> Been watching since Camp Cretaceous? Ah. Are you a season one Camp Cretaceous viewer or a season five Camp Cretaceous viewer? That's the, the question. Oh, that chicken is repeating on me. Sorry. 
Anything Chaos Theory will play into Jurassic Park 7? Ooh, good question, actually. I didn't think of that. I, I don't think it really will all that much. Like, I assume it will for Jurassic World Dominion. Like, we'll get to learn more about the Atrociraptors without a doubt. Probably the Allosaurus. Um, maybe some stuff about Malta. Maybe even Riyadh. I'd like to... Stop scaring me, man. Stop scaring me. <laughs> it's already hot, and I get terrified whenever I hear that come through. Oh, Jake, my man. Thank you. Four pounds. Happy birthday, sir. I've been a fan for about three years now. Keep making awesome videos. I appreciate it so much. Thank you, Jake. Thank you, thank you, thank you. God, people are loving that um, donation link in the description, aren't they? They're loving it. <laughs> I appreciate that. Three ninety nine. Honestly, guys, thank you so much. Oh, that did scare me, though. Like, it, it's already hot in this country, and now I get jump scared. I have it, like, turned up so loud as well. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah. How do you... Um, connect stuff with chaos theory and jurassic 7 i don't think they will with jurassic 7 they'll probably do something small like they did with the barbasol can or the mind control chips for camp cretaceous into jurassic world dominion i assume chaos theory will heavily tie into dominion in some way um but other than that i i, I can't because i don't know what jurassic 7 is about i don't know how they can tie in anything for chaos theory so it's very hard to assume but i would i would assume it's very hard to predict sorry but i would assume that um, some kind of small interaction would be there. Not something major, but something small. I'd be open to it. Oh, yeah, no, I haven't read. Toby, I haven't read the novels. I've listened to them. Whether I remember them or not is, an, is another question. Because I fall asleep listening to them and I can't remember where I left off. <laughs> but I have I have listened to the, to the novels. I haven't read them, though. But I think listening and reading is a completely different story. What's my opinion on the design of the Pyroraptor? Should they have implemented the type of design earlier? Um, I preferred its early concept, to be honest. I really did. Like, when we got the first information or the first, like, like not official, but artist renditions of what they saw for the Pyroraptor, I, I preferred that model. Um, this was long before the Pyroraptor was confirmed. And we got another advert. Go away. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I prefer that one, but I, I do like the Pyroraptor. I think that's one of my favorite designs. I, I, I'm not even a massive fan of feathers, but I think they nailed it. Like, they nailed the feathers on the Pyroraptor. Hello, Jurassic New Era. Do you... Do you build a reboot or the same story? Do I still want a reboot? I, I never wanted a reboot. No, I, do. I, I want a continuation of the story, to be honest. I don't really want them to go back in time again. Since Camp Cretaceous Season 1. <laughs> oh, Salah, I just realised this football team you support. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Opinion on the Scorpius Rex. Love it. Honestly, love it. It, I, I hated the idea of it. Like, for me, I despised it. Oh, my goodness. If you guys were there for during, what was it, 2021? Like, April 2021? I despised the idea of a new hybrid. Ugh, did not like it. And then the Scorpius Rex actually came into the small screen. And I was like, this is, this is what we needed from Jurassic. A bit of horror. I thought it was great. It's like if we got, like, a messed up Indoraptor, but it was utilized in a more horrific way. Oh, Jacob, I want, a, bro, yeah. I want a new trailer now. <laughs> but I don't at the same time. I want to be settled where I am right now before a trailer comes by. Um, I, I actually think we will get another trailer. So I think that would be my next video. I was wondering what my next video would be. Yeah, I think I'll make that my next video. I'll get to work on that tomorrow, maybe. Um, been a fan of this channel for almost five years. And it's always a joy to return and watch your videos because your voice is very calm and, and your videos are very entertaining. Splat, thank you so much for the kind words. I appreciate that. Five years, that's crazy. I can't believe... Wait. What? I just realised. In six days, it's going to be six years since I made my first Jurassic video and started focusing on YouTube. Six years. Wow, I remember where I, where I was when I first did it as well. Like, I, rem I remember the day very vividly making that first Jurassic video. Oof. Honestly, Eric, 
if we were to have a um a new hybrid or a hybrid return into the franchise without a doubt I would I, I would I would actually like the the spider raptor to be the one something's happened what's happened hey we've got a subscriber thank you Alex thank you Alex Andre Andrexaurus, I think that's how you say it. Ah, wait, that's what I wanted to do. Is this, wait, let me see if I can add this. There's a new subscriber goal, I think. Subscription goal. I add that source. Does it already say how many subscribers I have? No, it doesn't. There is a way to do it. Um, I was getting that set up for the next stream because uh wait no 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 get rid of that delete yes thank you i do want to do a lot more streams here so um stay tuned and also go to go to my twitch as well drop a follow on twitch we'll be we'll be streaming all kinds of things on twitch once i'm settled and i've got my setup sorted and loads of things move out the way and i'm more comfortable then we'll get straight into um doing some some streams again i want to do call of duty streams again some jurassic streams anything really anything when's it coming out july 2nd 2025 jurassic 7 is watch me for at least three years see i find it crazy because it feels like yesterday that i was working on camp cretaceous videos but that was like four years ago nearly i don't think the verosinosaurus would be in chaos theory to be honest no have I played a VR game? I have not, but I've watched them. I've watched Aftermath, Blue, and Apatosaurus. Started watching Swerve when he was 19, I was 12, now he is 23, and I'm soon going to be 16. See, to me, like, mathematically, that makes sense. <laughs> but I can't, I can't even, like, bring my head around that, you know? Like, that's actually crazy. Thank you, Colson. My Colson. Thank you. What am I excited about for the future of Jurassic? Also, happy birthday. Thank you, Link and friends. Oh, I'm excited for so much, man. <laughs> uh, but I don't know if I'm like talking bad on it by saying I'm excited because, you know, we have Chaos Theory Season 1 and Season 2. We have Jurassic Park Survival. We have Jurassic 7. Surely... Like, I know it's a lot right now, but surely this is because they're setting up, like, the franchise to be more releasable. I think that's a word. If not, I'm making it a word. <laughs> but in a, in, in a sense that, like, we'll get brand new stuff nearly every year. Like, we'll get information that, oh, Jurassic 8 is going to come out in 2027 or, you know, something like that. But in the meantime, here's Chaos Theory Season 2. Oh, the year after Chaos Theory Season 2, we have a brand new Jurassic video game for you. You know, stuff like that. I'm excited for stuff like that. And I really do hope that this is a big turning point. Like, 2024 and 2025 is going to be the biggest turning point in the Jurassic franchise. Bold statement, I know. But genuinely, it's going to be the biggest turning point. Without a doubt. Like, it has to be. Right? Like, so much is going on. Do I live in the UK? Technically, yes. Technically, I do, Jacob. Will Jurassic have any spin-offs about the Kirby family? I don't think so. I'd be open to see an animated show about how Eric survived. But I don't think they'll, they'll include the Kirby family anymore. We're born in the same month. Who else is born in April? This is the best month. You think that the series will focus on Isla Sauna? What, the series is in Chaos Theory or the series of the new Jurassic movies? Is there any possibility for an older Maya Joshi to be in Chaos Theory or the movie? Okay. <laughs> we were asking for a lot there. <laughs> I think Maya Joshi is just going to be a one and done kind of character. We'll just see her in the, uh, in the video game and that will be it. Only real him. Thanks for the follow on uh, Twitch, by the way. And everybody, thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed already, by the way, what are you doing? Press that subscribe button. Come on. 
<laughs> Thank you, Ethan. I appreciate that. Yes, Eid Mubarak to everybody who's celebrating. I hope the Mementosaurus comes back to the Jurassic franchise. Honestly, if they were to put in any sauropod, please, no more Patosaurus. I'm okay with Brachiosaurus, but I prefer not to. The Plonicus, sure. But give Mementosaurus his due appearance. He deserves it. He deserves it. Like, you guys agree, right? Everybody wants Mementosaurus. Type Mementi, or type yes in the chat if you want Mementosaurus. Wyatt with the $2 super chat. Ow, I just pulled out some leg hair on a wire. Ow. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you, Wyatt, for $2. Happy birthday, so I'm curious about this movie. Me too, my friend, me too. What, what does this light thing do? If I heart it, I don't, I don't know what it does. God, I haven't streamed in a year, and they've really changed everything about this type of stuff. That was their first super chat on a live stream. Wow. Check you out. Everybody like the like the super chats. Apparently you can do that. That's pretty cool. Yes, yes, yes. No, you don't want Mementosaurus? What? Do I think the Spinosaurus will return in Chaos Theory? Ah, uh, Sean. Because my video did very badly, I'm actually going to tell you to go watch it instead of me answering. <laughs> my Spinosaurus and Chaos Theory video. Oh, I was hoping to get like 20, 30k views and it, I think it's not even it's not even at 8k views yet. That's crazy. So, <laughs> please check out that video. <laughs> do you react to your chat? What do you mean, cool kids? What do you mean? Do you think humans will go extinct by an apocalypse or meteor like the dinosaurs? What, to end the franchise entirely? That's the thing, though, because, like, when you think about it, if they ever want to end the Jurassic franchise, I really hope that they don't. They're, they're one of the few people who are in a unique position... Well, one of the few franchises that's in a very unique position to absolutely wipe out everything. They can, all they have to do is just send a meteorite. That's all they have to do. And then bam. All of a sudden, the franchise has ended and it's ended in a, su such a cool way. Please don't do that, Universal. <laughs> I know it's a good idea, but please don't do it. Rapid to Junior in a series. Man, I don't know. It, 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 it's one of those things that they, they could do. Um, in a short animated movie where they you literally just watch it and stuff. There's no like audio or, di or dialogue or anything of the sort. So they can do that. But I, I wouldn't like that. Oh, it's getting cold. It's now 28 degrees. My favourite Camp Cretaceous character would be Brooklyn. Then Darius. Then Kenji. Then Ben. Then Yaz, then Sammy. <laughs> Jurassic What If was the most solid fan series for Jurassic Park fan shows I've ever seen. Thank you, Cinema Man. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, we've ended it. <laughs> we might do a season two. There's so many ideas that we have um, sorted for it. But the thing is, I want to do a season two, but the guy who made the intro, um, we had some complications. Let's just say that. And I kind of want a new intro, but I don't know where I can find somebody to do a similar intro. So we'll wait and see. I was also hoping that Marvel's What If Season 2 would have a different intro so we can um, parody it. Not copy, parody, parody it. <laughs> um, so that's unfortunate, but we'll, we'll see what we can do. We're hoping to get Season 2 going, but there's a lot of factors that need to be thought of first. Do you think Nophosaurus could appear in Chaos Theory? I don't think so. Again, it's one of those creatures where it was one and done. I mean, it could as a cameo, but I don't know. Should Rexy be killed off? Oh boy, people are going to hate me for saying this. Yes, I think that Rexy should be killed off. I know it's crazy to say. I know people are going to hate me for saying it, but I, I, I believe that it's, her time is up. Like, they have such a cool like storytelling opportunity here to to kill her off in a not horrific way, heroic way. So, yeah, I, I thoroughly believe that they should kill off Rexy. It's your birthday six days ago. Happy birthday to you! 
yeah, Dreadnoughtus as well, I guess. I wouldn't mind seeing Dreadnoughtus return as well. Almost a year left. Yeah, I know. It's crazy to even think about that. Like, Jurassic World Dominion, we knew was happening for four years. So it, it's a different... I don't know, this just feels different. <laughs> you know, like, there's a new movie coming out next year. Like, my head's not wrap, wrapping, wrapping it around that. Wrapping it around it? Oh, God, my English is terrible. Yeah, I, I, like, I remember when Camp Cretaceous was releasing in 2021... I was thinking there's a new movie next year, it's going to be great. And I was so anticipated for it. But I knew it for a while that a new movie was happening. Where I, I knew Jurassic 7 was going to happen, now that it's official, I, you know, I, I don't know how to feel about it. Like, it's coming next year. Like, that's so really cool, but it hasn't sunk in yet. How are you guys, like, enjoying this stream, by the way? Because we did start with 80 people, and now we're down to 50. But, um... I just, I just thought it'd be like a nice, cool and calming thing to just chat, really, and see how you guys are. I've got nothing to do this evening, so. Could film is start in June as Jurassic Outpost reported? Ah, as I reported, <laughs> um, it'll be late May, very late May, first the uh, filming will begin. Actually, I just realized this. Chaos Theory is going to come out when the next Jurassic movie is like, about to start filming. Will the Giganotosaurus return? I don't know. I honestly don't know. I don't think so. I would like it to, but I don't think so. Do I think Blue should be killed off? No, I think Blue's got her time. She can stay about. No worries, Toby. I'll see you back in a bit. Eid Mubarak. You think Daniel Khan could appear in Chaos Theory? <laughs> you know, there's a chance, Jacob. There's a chance. He has a motive. They need to buff the herbivores. I agree. I 100% agree. They really need to buff the herbivores in this franchise. Like, how have we not seen a Triceratops versus Tyrannosaurus Rex battle? How have we not seen a herbivore kill a carnivore? Have we? I don't think we have, have we? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't, th I don't think we've actually seen that happen. So, yeah, um, I'm, I'm quite miffed by that. Oh, my headset hair is horrible. I've taken off my headset now. Tell me if another ad comes by. I've taken off my headset. It's horrendous. We love your videos. Thank you. Oh, YouTube is not really receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming. Am I... Tell me if the stream starts bugging. I'm relying on you guys. <laughs> also, guys, we uploaded earlier today. Um, pretty cool video. Not doing too great, but I'd actually encourage you guys to uh, check out that video if you want to learn more about Chaos Theory. It's a very, very good video. Like, uh, I'm, I'm quite excited with the information that was in that video. Would a movie take place in London or on Isla Sauna? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Could be either or, to be honest. No worries, one Carnotaurus. Thank you. Roberta doesn't exist in the Jurassic Cinematic Universe. She, do she does not exist. The Dark Web. Yes, kind of. Well... We'll, we'll get like a viral marketing thing of it. I'm excited by the information. Oh, my headset hair is horrible, man. Thank you, Cinema Man. Thank you. Thank you, Splurtex. Loads of birthday messages. I appreciate that. Another aquatic reptile in Chaos Theory. I, ah, I think we will. I think there's a new aquatic reptile coming in Chaos Theory. Don't know how or when or what it will be, but my gut's saying there will be. May you please voice act in my series prologue. I voice acted once and got horrendous, <laughs> a horrendous reception from people. <laughs> I don't think I'm ever going to voice act again. <laughs> Not a chance. I kind of embarrass myself, I guess, in a way.
I don't think there'll be another hybrid. I wouldn't be a, a, against it. Thank you, Ryder. Thank you, Eric. Listen to a stream while playing Fallout. Fallout. Yes, that's what I like. See, I remember when I first started doing YouTube videos, and I was just like, "Hmm, how can I, how can I create something where people can enjoy?" Because let's be honest, most of the time when you're watching YouTube, you're doing something else on the side, right? And I know, like those people play video games, they want to do challenges in the video games that take ages, but they want some entertainment on the side. So obviously, they listen to videos. So that's why I edit my videos in a way where it's like you can literally be doing anything and you can still watch and enjoy the videos as long as you're listening. And if there's anything very important that you should look at, then I'm sure you'll find the time to look at a video. So that you know, that's that's like the thought process behind making my videos. Even like the stream right now, like I'm chilling, you're chilling, you're playing your games, you're listening. And it's calm. I like it. Do you guys like this this like method? It's always nice to chat. Do you think Beta and Maisie will replace Owen and Blue? I, I hope not. Oh, no. That's so cliche. I really hope not. <laughs> and to be honest, the picture of so up looks cool because of the red scratch. Also kind of looks like... Yeah, yeah, it does. It's um, it's, It looks very similar to like uh, Jurassic Park 3 logo, you know? <laughs> Jurassic Shadow. Uh, he was in the chat earlier, um, but he actually made that. He makes a lot, a lot of my logos, so... Happy birthday, happy birthday. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Do you think you would do YouTube for another five years? If there's Jurassic content to be made, I will be here. I promise. I'll be here. And if, you know, I can keep it afloat and if I uh, you know, stay full-time on YouTube, I will be here. <laughs> which Jurassic canon is the best? What do you mean? Like, Jurassic? which Jurassic universe is the best? No way. Is that the real Fracture AV? Happy birthday, Pog Champ Swerve. Thank you. Yo, JJ, you're actually the, the only person to say happy birthday to me today. <laughs> like, for real. <laughs> I was in a call with Jacob earlier, and uh, he, he not once did he say happy birthday. He just said, oh, you're going to stream later, yeah? And I said, yeah. He's like, okay, I'm going to go now. But it was like four hours ago. <laughs> he didn't say happy birthday to me once, and he's been offline ever since. LBT, thank you. After three Jurassic Park movies, they made Jurassic World literally almost the same plot as Jurassic Park, but with hybrids. So Jurassic 7 could be another Jurassic World. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I see what you mean, but I don't think they'll go down that route, to be honest. I just don't see that happening. The only time I watch your videos is while I eat. Other than that, I just listen to them gaming. Exactly, Jake. You know, for me, like, I, I don't watch YouTube. Like, genuinely, I don't watch YouTube, but when I do watch it, it's when I'm eating or when I'm playing games or I want something on the side so yeah that's that's literally the only times I watch it so I, I thought if I do that then you know millions of others are surely doing that as well and actually that's how I started doing YouTube like I, I was watching Best in Slot I was watching Gaming Beaver that was it like at the time that was it maybe Clayton very early on but I had so many questions and Best in Slot and Gaming Beaver weren't answering them so I thought why not make the video myself? Like, if I want to see it, maybe other people want to see it. So I made the videos myself, and truth be told, others did want to see it. And that's how I ended up growing. That's how I started growing on YouTube. So um, now I'm trying to think of other things in a, in a similar fashion. We're two likes away from 200 likes, by the way, so feel free to like the video or the live stream. But yeah, that's that's kind of how I think about it now, because I only use YouTube to, you know, when I'm chilling, when I'm, like, playing games, or whenever I'm eating. I don't watch YouTube other than that. And then we scold him real quick. JJ, go into that man. Should the Dilophosaurus return? Yes. Jurassic World Trilogy or Jurassic Park Trilogy? World. It's like, for me, it's night and day. Like, the Jurassic World Trilogy is far better than Jurassic Park Trilogy. Do you think Chaos Theory will be like Camp Cretaceous Season 3? I highly expect it to be so, because Chaos Theory is expected to be like very much darker than Camp Cretaceous. And they saw how good uh, Season 3 did, 
that I'm fairly certain, like I'm fairly certain, that they'll want to follow in the same footsteps, right? It makes sense. Like, season three, for me, is probably the best Jurassic media that we've got since Jurassic Park, the original Jurassic Park. So, I would highly anticipate that it should be like season three. 200 likes. Thank you, guys. Thank you. When do I think Jurassic 7 will take place? I think it will take place now. In 2024. I haven't even watched Phineas and Ferb. Why, why is that stuck in my head? Gaming Beaver was my childhood. Mine too. Mine too. Well, I say childhood. Early teens. Actually, no. I guess in a way early childhood as well. Or late childhood. Because he, he, he was... um He made the... What's it called? What's that JPOG series he made years ago? Like, we're talking like 10 to 15 years ago. I used to watch that all the time. I didn't even know it was Game of Beaver at the time. I used to watch all of it. It's crazy. I remember watching him as well. Like, Sven. Like, the name Sven. <laughs> I remember that in JPOG. I was in Romania with my, uh, my, uh, grandpa my grandparents' apartment. And I remember watching his, like, JPOG, uh, The Deadland or, or something like that. I can't remember what it's called his series i remember just sat there watching it in romania and it was so cool and it's crazy how i have like these random memories it really is there we go just need to scroll past quickly sorry favorite non-canon hybrid ultimasaurus or spinoraptor one or the other Will Trudon be there? I'm poor. Thing is, if you asked me this question like three years ago, I would say I would expect Trudon to appear in the franchise just because of how well loved it was from Jurassic Park Telltale game and you know just in general. But with its all with its species being dubious or some random rubbish now, I don't think that they really want to tackle that and have people complain about it because you know the paleo, oh, the paleo Twitter will complain about anything. Like, if, it, if it's pinky toe was two centimeters too long in a movie, they'll complain about it. <laughs> so I highly, I highly expect them not to put Trudon into the movies just because of its current status. If you can get a live action Jurassic Park show, that would be lit. Honestly, no. <laughs> really want one. Like, I really, really want one. But I just don't see it happening. I really don't. It's unfortunate. I like... Trust me, I'll do anything I can possibly do to help a live-action Jurassic series come, come to life. Ooh, talk of which, actually. I don't know how much I can talk about it. I'm not going to say what it was for. Let's just say for Jurassic stuff in the franchise, your boy actually aided to something very, very important. I'll, uh, I'll probably tell you guys once we get closer to the release. But it's something official. For the franchise, I helped work on it in, in some way, just like I gave my opinions and what um, you guys would like to see. Um, which, you know, that sounds really cool. <laughs> that actually sounds really cool, because I, I didn't think much of it. But yeah, something official is on the way. Um, and it's going to be very exciting. It really is. We'll have to wait and see. Any Jurassic Park survival update? No. Ah, yes. Yes, but it's a negative update. So, apparently the posters in Eastern Europe are removed and the website's been taken down. There is no official release date anymore. So it's not that December 2024 that we had. That must have been a mistake. Favorite dinosaur in Evolution 2? Honestly, Megalosaurus. Very unexpected, but Megalosaurus. I really like it. If you were to direct a Jurassic movie or series, how would you do it and what would add to spice things up? Funny you say that. I actually have a... Oh, it's back in England. Oh, it's on my computer back in England. I have a script of a story that I've actually scripted. Like, I, I, I studied hours of how to, like, write a script. Like a screenplay. I really want to send it off to Universal. I, I, it's a shame because I, I, I want to pitch this idea so badly, like so, so well. I think like loads of fans, like fans of Ken Cretaceous, fans of Jurassic, live action stuff, 
older audience, younger audience, I think they'll all enjoy it, to be honest. So I, I really want to try and reach out to Universal in some way, but to pitch this idea, but it's so difficult to get hold of them. And then they have like this really weird um, theme thing. Like every single thing that happens with Jurassic needs to have a theme, apparently. And that that makes things very difficult. I don't want to get into too much detail about that, but let's just say I've I've tried to work on some stuff for you guys to enjoy as a something official. It's just it's very difficult. So if there is anybody from Universal out of forty five people here, <laughs> um, please help me. <laughs> Do you plan to do a face reveal? Tonya, you know I have like 12 vlogs on the channel with my face in it, right? I have a second channel, which I literally uploaded a video yesterday with my face in it. <laughs> I have like three, four videos on my second channel with my face in it. I have some horror videos, like horror gameplay videos with my face in it on, on this channel as well. I have loads of videos with my face in it. My Twitter account has my face in it. What else? Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. My face is out there. People know what I look like. <laughs> I'm doing well, Alex. How are you? No, the OG, I don't think the OG cast will appear too much in the next movie, but I think that we'll see a familiar face. Don't worry. Send them your script. I wish it was that easy, mate. I wish it was that easy. Ah, well, Tonya. Mr. Tonya, Madam Tonya. I uh, highly recommend to check out some of my vlogs. They were quite a lot of fun, actually, to make. Like, a lot of fun. Or if you're interested in, like, some funny moments, gameplay videos, Call of Duty videos, then check out my second channel as well. By the way, we're almost at 7,000 subscribers on my second channel, which is incredible. So if you guys want to help out, feel free to. I'm going to get some water real quick. Let me go to my mini fridge. I had way too much chicken today. Swerve looks like a chad. I look like a chad. Do I really? God, I just I just realized anybody who's gonna go check out my older vlogs, I was so fat. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds mean, but I was so fat in those vlogs. So if you look at me and be like, yeah, that boy's fat. I'm, I'm, I'm much more slimmer now. I lost like 35 kilos or something crazy. All in like three months in the summer last year. Mm. Don't tell me you can hear me swallow. No, good. What's your second channel? My second channel is Swerve, but the S is a 2. Twerve, as I like to call it. Twerve. I don't know. I thought that was quite smart. Do I like playing any sports? Yeah. Um, football or soccer for you Americans. Um, I used to play semi-pro academy until I got my in injury on my left knee. I tore my posterior cruciate ligament in a football game. And um, I only came back. That happened back in 2019, I think. Or no, 2018. And I only got back to playing sports last year, like the summer of last year. That's what helped me also lose a lot of weight. Um, and now I've left the team, <laughs> which you'll find out more about later down the line um, of why I've left. But yes, I'm on Instagram as well, SwerveYT, at SwerveYT. One of the team will come to live action, Camp Cretaceous. Uh, you know. I don't know. We have to wait and see what happens with Chaos Theory. If you were to tell me that before I knew more about Chaos Theory, then I'd say, yeah, 100%. But now, I, I, I don't know. How's your day been? Quiet. Very quiet. I think this might be the first time where my close friends and the fa family have forgotten my birthday. <laughs> might be because I'm out of the continent, but, you know. Oh, well. I don't really celebrate my birthday too much. The only time I actually celebrate my birthday is with you guys each year, so... They won't do anything special for Jurassic World, they? They won't. Have I ever watched three C films on YouTube? No. 
again, I, I, I very, very rarely watch YouTube. I, I maybe watch Sidemen, Sidemen React, Smiv. I don't know. You guys probably don't know Smiv. He's um, he's a YouTuber who goes and watches like smaller league football teams in the UK. And that's practically it. Yeah, Luca, Jake, thank you so much for the birthday messages. Which is your favorite dinosaur, Giganotosaurus? Giganotosaurus, without a doubt. I'm a zoology nerd and a sucker for accurate animals, though I love the Jurassic movie series since it's accurate enough. And I'm sure you, Trudon, isn't valid, just poorly understood. Well, I, I, you know what? More people need to be like you. More people need to be like you. <laughs> the Jurassic movie series since it's accurate enough. Thank you. <laughs> Why can't more people say that? <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I heard that it was not a species anymore but poorly understood you know it's one of those things that i'm sure that they'll be like yeah we can put it in the movie but we'll get a lot of backlash for it and i don't think that they really want any backlash they already deal with enough unnecessary backlash so i really need to start like i as well as like losing a lot of weight i grew up my hair and i don't know how to style it like i'm really struggling to find out how to style it to make it look nice like consistently nice Oh, I don't know. I support Chelsea Football Club, unfortunately. My dad's been supporting since 1968, so I continued the tradition since 2001. Why is Giganotosaurus your favourite? When I was a kid, I had a dinosaur book. And um, for, for some reason, I never liked liking popular things. And I, I didn't like um, the the t-rex because it was so popular so I was, I was looking and i saw that the giganotosaurus is bigger stronger and it, it didn't seem that known at the time so i was like that's my favorite dinosaur and i just loved it it looked bulky it looked better than the t-rex and not many people knew about it so that was my favorite another thing very weird you guys know pixar cars yeah in cars 2 my favorite my favorite driver is rip klotch Koneski which has maybe like five seconds of screen time in the movie. Five. That's it. He's not even in the video games. He's got some diecast um, toys of him, but that's about it. And he was my favorite because he was so unknown. <laughs> like Neymar as well. Neymar, the footballer. I I'm, I'm sure you guys know about him. When he was back in Brazil, my favorite player. Favorite player when he played for Santos because nobody knew about him. And then... He tried to. He almost signed for Chelsea. Then he went and signed for Barcelona. And then, like, it got so popular that he wasn't my favorite anymore. So for some reason, when I was young, I, I kind of still do it now. But when when I was young, I liked unpopular things for the sake because they were unpopular. <laughs> I support Chelsea. Unfortunately, that's why I have a very strong grudge against Liverpool. Been cheated out of them for so man so long. What are your opinions on a Jurassic Park movie based on the InGen cleanup in 1994? Yes, not a movie, maybe a short film. But yes, I would love something like that. Like, it, it, it doesn't have to climatize to anything. It doesn't have to cost a lot. What you have to do is bring in some workers that discover the, the island and the aftermath of it in 1994, see the dead Triceratops, follow what we have on the canonical websites, and then, since we don't really know entirely what happens, you can make it like exhilarating, like the the Lost World Jurassic Park when they were when the workers were trying to get through the jungle, and you know the scene with the long grass happened, and they're trying to escape. Have something like that for the workers. It doesn't have to climatize to anything or set up anything. It can just be like something cool, <laughs> you know. It doesn't have to set up anything. Ronaldo and Messi. Whoa. I like them both, to be honest. I idolise Ronaldo a little bit more. Just because he seemed like more of a complete striker. But I, I appreciated uh, Messi more. Because I, I play in the same position as Messi. On the wing. Thank you, Team Kong. God, the whole entire team of Kong. Just wish me a happy birthday. Shadowstorm, hello. Follow me on Instagram. Thank you. Juventus is the best. 
<laughs> the last time we played Juventus, we beat like 3 or 4 0. If Jurassic Universe connects to the other dinosaur universes, like Spider Verse, what do you think? No. No, 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 no. That's not how movie universes work. Because then what you're talking about is a movie. Some, oh, I can't remember what it's called. So you have like a so all right. Let, let me talk. Let me try to explain to you guys how movie universes work because it's it's complicated. Let's look at it from the Marvel perspective. Yeah, you have the Marvel Cinematic Universe, okay, which is the MCU. So Iron Man, Hulk, um, Captain America, Ant Man, Doctor Strange, all of that. Yeah, all of that is the MCU. That is one universe. One. Then you have the Marvel Multiverse which has cinematic, the Marvel Cinematic Multiverse, the MCM, which then has multiple movies, each movie taking place in their own universe. So you have like the Blade universe, you have the Sam Raimi Spider-Man um, universe, you have the Amazing Spider-Man universes, you have the Venom uni universes, everything under the Marvel title that doesn't take place in the MCU and doesn't take place in the coinciding universes of other Marvel films. That's the Marvel Cinematic Multiverse. And then, <laughs> and then we have the Marvel Outerverse. So the Mar Marvel Outerverse is everything Marvel, pretty much, which means, um, so you include the comics. So you have the, the Marvel Comic Multiverse, which is a separate multiverse to the Marvel Cinematic Multiverse. So you have the comic, think of them as bubbles, basically. <laughs> Sorry, I know this is confusing, but think of them as bubbles. You have the Marvel comic multiverse, and then you have a Marvel cinematic multiverse. They are within the same bubble, they're separate bubbles, within the same bigger bubble, which is called the Marvel Outerverse, which contains practically everything Marvel. So that's how, if you ever see, like, in, let's say in a future movie, they teleport universes, they go from live action, all of a sudden to appearing in the comic book, and it's the same one. So if they release a comic book in real life, and you're reading the comic book, and it says that this is Deadpool from MCU 616. That's Deadpool from MCU 616, the Marvel Cinematic Universe 616 universe. So then that, that would be the introduction of the Outerverse. But this is where She-Hulk kind of ruined some things. So She-Hulk quote-unquote broke the fourth wall, which she does in the comics. But that she... I think it's the Omniverse that she entered. So she introduced the Omniverse, and not, not many people are very crazy about that. I know some people are going to be like, oh, the Omniverse, do you mean Ben 10? No, no, no. <laughs> we're basic, the, the science that Marvel based their universes on, that's how we're going off. So the Omniverse is the Disney Omniverse. So seeing a real, uh, seeing a cinematic character come from that universe into where they are being directed from, with Kevin Feige, with um, the writers of She-Hulk all appearing in, in She-Hulk themselves, that's the um, Omniverse. That's the Disney Omniverse. So everything owned by Disney can cross over, if that makes sense. So you can see Bambi jumping into a Marvel Universe. That's actually the Omniverse, the Marvel Omniverse, or the Disney Omniverse, sorry. So anything Disney owned, we don't be able to hop between it, and that will make sense. Then you have multiple Omniverses, obviously, because not everything is owned by Disney, believe it or not, <laughs> which can collide, which will then create... I can't remember what it's called. <sighs> I'm going to have to Google it, but there there is another name for it where that's basically the movie something verse, which means that every franchise, or not the movie, but franchise verse or whatever you want to call it, where every movie can cross over. So you can see Transformers coming into the MCU or you can see Star Wars coming into Jurassic, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't mean that they take place in the same universe. It just means that they are swapping over in the, in the megaverse. Let's just call it a megaverse for now for the argument's sake. So that's kind of how it works. I have bored you guys a lot. Like a lot. <laughs> oh, we got a super chat. Yo, Wyatt, thanks again for another $2. I appreciate that. As a Cars fan, I didn't expect to mention earlier. Yeah, I love Cars. One of my favorite Disney, Disney movies. Disney Pixar movies. Ben 10 and Marvel. You see, that's possible. You know, Ben 10 and Marvel is possible in the Megaverse. Hyperverse, that's it. I think there's something bigger than the Hyperverse as well. But yeah, that, that's kind of how the how the fran like I don't know what to call it now. Franchise universes work. Like it is possible to have a crossover between comics and live action, 
but they don't take place in the same universe. They don't take place in the same multiverse. They're the outerverse. The Marvel comic outerverse. The Marvel cinematic outerverse. They take place in the Marvel omniverse, which She-Hulk broke into in her series. Spoiler alert. So that's, that's kind of how it works. Jurassic Saga or Jurassic City? Neither. I hate the name of them both. <laughs> like we've just had the Jurassic Saga between Jurassic Park and Jurassic World Dominion. And Jurassic City just sounds ass. Do you think Frontier is going to make Jurassic World Evolution 3 to release alongside the new movie? We did make a video about this. I had my reasons. I can't remember my reasons anymore. So if you do want a more in-depth answer, highly recommend that video. But yeah, I mean, it, it is possible. It is possible. Did you guys understand that? Did you understand like how I explained it? I don't think you did. I didn't even understand it. Well, I did, but <laughs> I made it confusing. <laughs> there were dinosaurs once in Doctor Strange 2. Yeah, that's... Um, that's uh, I forgot. That, that, that was another universe within the Marvel Cinematic Multiverse. The Savage Lands. I think it's the Savage Lands. I think it was a tease to the Savage Lands. What was your favourite science in school? Physics. Love physics. I just love physics. Oh, especially astronomy. Don't get me started on astronomy. I could talk about astronomy for days. If I bored you with all of this universe stuff, I can bore you even more with astronomy. <laughs> oh. Mercy Hawk, thank you. I appreciate that. All right, Salah. Uh, enjoy, enjoy the Chaos Theory video. Uh, Kyle, it's probably because I'm removing the videos. Some videos go up and then I'm being told to remove them, so we remove them. Favourite carnivorous dinosaur has to be Giganotosaurus because it's my favourite dinosaur, so it makes sense for it to be carnivorous as well. <laughs> to be honest, Yao, I, I forgot what I said in that video as well, so <laughs> you're welcome to watch it again if you want. I can't remember what I said, but I tried to make it make sense. Yes, I understood what you meant. Good, good, good. Can we do a watch party for Chaos Theory? I don't know, Jonathan. I might do, might not do. I have to wait and see how things go. I'm in a very um, everything up in the air kind of situation right now. So I, I don't even know what's going to happen in three days. Let's just say that. So, yeah, I'm, I'm in a situation where it's very... Uh, Difficult to even tell my future right now. Yeah, we'll see a new dinosaur species, don't you worry. I don't know which one, but we'll see them. Fortnite Ducky, thank you. Let me turn the aircon off quick. I'm kind of enjoying the stream. I do kind of want to just lay in bed though, I'll be honest with you. Like, I'm knackered. I'm enjoying the stream. We'll keep going. We'll try to go for two hours. Okay, chat has died. Chat has really died. Wow. Jurassic Legacy will give dinosaurs new designs like what Jurassic World did. Ooh. No, because I think with what Jurassic World did, they kind of gave them a, a almost accurate representation. And if we call it the Jurassic World design or the Jurassic Park design, because there's only really two ways to design those dinosaurs. So I don't think there'll be a third way. I mean, I could be wrong. There could be like, you know, at the end of the day, we do have Pyroraptor, the Jurassic World design of Pyroraptor. And then for argument's sake, Jurassic Legacy. Um, we have a different variant of Pyroraptor. So it's not the end of the world, but something like that. I have some personal, I'm always having personal problems too, honestly. <laughs> but we laugh for it, we get through life, and uh, yeah, just be thankful we're alive. When to put my pizza in the fridge? Okay, for lunch tomorrow. I was about to say, the pizzas don't go in the fridge, mate. They don't. I'm 
going to DinoQuest in the Cajun Dome in Louisiana. What the hell is DinoQuest? Have you ever played Jurassic Park Builder? Maybe once when I was a kid. Like all those years ago, but I don't really remember it too much. Welcome back, Jacob. I hate Jurassic World? Why, Paul? Why do you hate Jurassic World? Oh yeah, CinemaCon's going on right now, isn't it? Maybe we'll get a uh, title reveal at CinemaCon? Nope, nothing revealed yet. Maybe I'm a bit too optimistic. I have not played Jurassic World Aftermath. I've seen it, I haven't played it. Which actors and actresses would you like to see in a movie? See, I, this question to me is so open because I'm I'm open to anyone really, like I, big, small. I don't mind. That's why you know Scarlett Johansson, I think is a great choice. My second favorite franchise. Um, probably Marvel, just because I know the most about it. Transformers is up there, but I don't. The thing is, Transformers because of all of like the non-canon, canon animated series. There's just so much for me to catch up on, um, and a lot of it just seems very. I don't know. It doesn't seem like. I think it's just like for fun. I don't know. Maybe I'm getting the wrong end of the stick there. But I, I don't follow tra um, Transformers as much. But I do like the movies. What else have we got? I can't remember too many franchises. I'm starting to get a bit of a headache. Name me franchises and I'll say if I enjoyed them or not. Oh yeah, the Monster Burst, obviously. I haven't seen Godzilla Kong yet, no. Um, when can I see it? It's probably in some... Uh, there's probably some cinemas near me in the city. We'll see. I might be able to go go to the city tomorrow. Maybe watch it, I don't know. Room is flooded with cars, diecast characters. Mine too. Well, not my room exactly, but when I was a kid, I had there's a drawer downstairs in the coffee table where uh, there's loads of my cars, toys there. <laughs> loads. Do I watch any anime? Um, the only anime I've watched. Okay, I'll list all the animes I've watched. Don't get too excited because they're nothing special. The obvious ones: Pokemon, Dinosaur King, Digimon. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting another one. There's probably someone there. But most recently I watched uh, Ao Ashi. Or Ao Ashi, however you pronounce it. I thought that was brilliant. But I don't really watch anime. Fast and Furious is your second favorite franchise. Ah. Do you also study scientifically accurate dinosaurs? No. I, I couldn't care less about those, to be honest. Do you reckon there should be more interaction, confrontations between dinosaurs and modern day animals? I would like to see that. Like, genuinely, I would like to see like a lion hunt down a Pachycephalosaurus and have a fight with it. Or a T-Rex trying to take on a elephant trying to size it up, you know? I'd like to see stuff like that. Like sure, mix herding that we saw at the end of uh, Jurassic World Dominion. That's great and all, but I want to see like action <laughs> Pirates of the Caribbean yeah I, I enjoyed that they're rebooting for some reason don't know why but yeah I, I enjoyed Pirates of the Caribbean when I was younger I wouldn't actively be like yeah I'll go watch that now like right now I wouldn't not a chance what do I do in my free time I, I, I sleep I play Pokemon I work um what else do I do I don't really do all that much I Sometimes play Call of Duty, but technically that's working again. Don't really watch football. I like to watch memes. That's about it, really. I don't really do much in my free time. Sometimes work out. This has turned out from Ask Me Anything About Jurassic 7 to literally ask me anything. <laughs> anything you want to know about me, go for it. Yeah, Mosasaurus against some orcas would be pretty cool. Do you like Star Wars? Oh yeah, how did I forget Star Wars? Yeah, I love Star Wars. 
My favorite installment? Um, oh boy, I'm testing my knowledge here. I'm really, like, quite recently, I really enjoyed Obi Wan. I think that's probably the best series yet. Ahsoka was so like, it was like, okay, it's gonna climatize to something. It's gonna, it's gonna climatize to something, and then nothing happened, and it just got left on a weird cliffhanger. Like not even like a a fun cliffhanger, just a weird one. So that was a letdown. Andor was one of the most boring things I've ever seen. The Last Jedi was awful. Rise of Skywalker, I loved it. I really, really loved it. Um, the Force Awakens, I really loved it. Um, Revenge of the Sith, I thought that was brilliant. Probably my favourite. Um, Return of the Jedi is really good. Phantom Menace is really good. A New Hope, yeah, it's alright. I feel like I'm forgetting another one. Can't remember, but I think I am. How to be like me. You do not want to be like me, trust me. I I, I saw that Pirates of the Caribbean is rebooting. I it was weird because I'm pretty sure I, I saw also before that that it was supposed to be a new trilogy as well. But it some for some reason they're saying it's a reboot but it's the same way they're calling Jurassic 7 a reboot it's not a reboot what's your project Toby what time am I streaming till I don't know the viewer count's going lower and lower <laughs> it's getting later and later here um, I'll try for another 32 minutes wait PSG in Barcelona playing tonight Oh, I've let's go Madrid and Dortmund as well, isn't it? What am I excited for in Chaos Theory? A lot. Oh, Trust Raptors, Malta story, the entire story. What happened to Brooklyn? Um, new dinosaurs like the Beckle Spinax, Paki Rhinosaurus. Uh, a lot, to be honest. A lot. Connect the connectivities, that's the main thing. Ah, do I have slow mode turned on? My bad, guys, my bad. Can I turn slow mode off? So you guys can, yeah. Ah, oh, 60 seconds, blimey. My apologies, chat away, go for it. That's so weird, it literally says chat away. <laughs> Thank you, Shadow Storm. I appreciate that. What do you think of it, Salah? What do you think of it? Revenge of Sith on top. Yeah. Do I like the AVP for what's AVP? I'm gonna Google it. Franchise. Oh, Alien vs Predators. Yeah, actually, I do. I, I can't remember any of the movies, I'll be honest with you, but I do enjoy them. I still need to play Alien Isolation as well, man. I still need to play it. Do you think Yaz will make a return in Chaos Theory? I know the answer to that, and I will not say the answer to that. You enjoyed the video, good, good. What did everyone think of today's video, by the way? Are you excited for a marketing website that's coming? What do you think the marketing website will be, given the information that we have? A big time jump in Jurassic 7. Man, I, I don't know. I never thought I'd ever come to a movie where we literally don't know whether it's in the 80s, in the 2010s, the 2020s, or the 2040s. I, I don't know. Happy birthday in two days, system. Do you think Jurassic Park can do something best by including horror things in it? Uh, the, uh, I would like to see more horror. I really would. Would it be possible to watch Chaos Theory on YouTube? It will not. It's only on Netflix. What class are you in right now, Shadowstorm? That's all right, Prehistoric. Catch you later. And a bit of the new movie. That's, you know, that's, that's you know. I'd be open to that actually, but it's it's purchased by DreamWorks. It's not purchased by Universal, so I don't think it will. 
be part of the new movie either. Okay, no chat is literally dying. Should we go live on TikTok? I haven't done that for a while. Yeah, I know. The time difference is a bit weird, but it's like it's almost 11 p.m. here, so. Are you excited for Jurassic Survival? I am. Don't like his phone, yeah. Rain, if you're shy, I'm shy as well. I'm like, oh, if, if like 18 year old me was to look at 23 year old me right now, we're night and day, we're different. So you just gotta like push yourself out there, you know. So it, it sounds easier said than done, I know, been there. But kind of like, if you just like do things because you have to, or think of it like you have to do it, like everything's a chore, then eventually you come around to it and you start doing it anyways. So, like, it's it actually works. It sounds like dumb stuff or dumb advice, but it does work. No, I'll do it. Okay, type yes or no if I should go live on TikTok for like, I don't know, the next half an hour or something. Okay, don't don't spam yes, don't spam yes. One yes per person. Hold on, where are we getting these new names from? Invincible J Natalie. You guys are new. <laughs> Cole. Okay, we're always very mixed. Why why are people saying no? I'd like to I'd like to know why people are saying no. Terry or Chomp? Is that from what's his name? Dinosaur King? We haven't gone live and I haven't used TikTok in like nearly a year. Is it still active? Let me check my TikTok real quick. It was a lot of fun when we did go live. <sighs> oh yeah, I thought it was Dinosaur King. Who would win a fight, Spino or T-Rex? I think we have the answer to that. <laughs> Thank you, Abrish. I appreciate that. Oh, wow. As soon as I say I'm going to TikTok, all of a sudden we get 52, 54 viewers. <laughs> Go watch PSG in Barcelona soon. I, I think Barcelona is going to win 2-1. Why are people against um, uh, me going on TikTok? Is it because it's Chinese? I can speak Chinese. Jurassic need more short films. They, they actually do. Like, I'm not against it. I, I actually think Jurassic need more short films. We have 62 people here. As soon as I say I'm going to TikTok. <laughs> Wait, where were you guys five minutes ago? Don't be shy. Say hello.
can't speak Chinese. <laughs> TikTok is a toxic place. Yeah, that's the fun of it, though. Everyone's toxic, but I'm in control. I just ban whoever I want. <laughs> the Chinese got me laughing. You guys can't speak Chinese. Two hundred likes, two hundred twenty-nine likes. Oh wow! I have not been on my TikTok for ages. That's crazy. You know what? What? People are sending me direct messages? You can do that? I didn't know you could do that. Somebody said, respond respond or no Jurassic World Evolution 2 DLC. That was the day we got announcement of the <laughs> Evolution 2 DLC. Favorite dinosaur from Camp Cretaceous? It's not a dinosaur, but Nothosaurus. Favorite member of the new Blast 6 would be Brooklyn. What's your favorite Jurassic movie? That would be Jurassic Park, but that's so cliche. So I'll say Jurassic World and Jurassic World Dominion as second place. When you speak two languages, Dutch and English, would you ever suggest just some insults? Yeah, I, uh, I only speak, I'm, I'm fluent in English, partially fluent in Romanian, and I'm currently learning Arabic. Toxic people on TikTok make it toxic, but not everyone there is like that. Exactly. Yeah, especially with my community. Like, I'll, I'll protect you guys. I'll fight for you guys. Down to 36. Okay. How do we, how do we half the people? <laughs> oh. Yeah, TikTok, yeah, TikTok Live is full of like a lot of weirdos, I'll be honest with you. I don't really use TikTok for that reason anymore. You know what? Since we do get more people coming in from TikTok, we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and go live on TikTok, I think. So, I think... If you guys want to, I highly recommend going to my TikTok account, which is at SwerveYT, which should be the same handle as pretty much all of my social medias, to be honest. Uh, we'll type it there. Actually, can I type the URL instead? Like, where does it go? One, two, three, TikTok.com forward slash SwerveYT, right? I think. Or HTTPS, let me make it a lot easier for you. There we go. Okay, you should be able to click on that. I don't care if you find if you guys find it toxic. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to remember how to do it all now as well. That's gonna yeah. Give me a few minutes though, and I'll I'll head on over to um to TikTok. I'll probably jump into bed as well, to be honest. It's a lot easier to stream from there. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and go to TikTok. And what happens if I do this? Can you guys still hear me? You can, you can. Well, thank you so much for everybody who was here. Thank you so much for the donations, guys. I really do appreciate it. Um, I'll try to put it towards some dinner tomorrow. <laughs> we'll see, but yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you so much for everybody who did stop by and donated and everything. And um, yeah, it's it's been a lot of fun. We'll talk about everything from Jurassic on TikTok. I'm gonna drink, I'm going to get into bed and then go live streaming. So yeah, head on over there. Just wait for me and I'll I'll go live in a few few minutes. Give me about 10 or 15 minutes. But thank you everyone. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one, which will probably be next year. <laughs>